It may be thousands of miles away, but Karsavin, my hometown, is just one part of rural Ireland being transformed by the war in Ukraine. Hello, Welcome how are you? What's going on? How are, how are you? you? Are you this getting flashbacks? A little bit, because see, I was, I was over in the boys' school. Yeah. Six weeks ago, we were a school of uh, an enrolment of 103 pupils, seven teachers. We arrived back after St. Patrick's weekend to a 50% increase in our school population, where today, six weeks later, we have an enrolment of 155 pupils and 10 teachers. <laughs> With a population of only 5 million people, Ireland has taken in more than 25,000 Ukrainians fleeing the war. Hundreds have come to Karsavin and everyone is involved in making them feel welcome. I come in here mostly when, when the classes are finished and there's a beautiful young girl here. She's a classical pianist and she, she comes in and plays the piano when the school is closed. So she serenades me for maybe an hour or two in the evening. It's fantastic. Hello, Mr. O'Sullivan. How are you? Nice you? Where's everybody here from? Where are you from? Um, I'm from in Kiev. You're from Kiev? Yeah. And how long have you been in, in Karsavin? Mm, uh, two months, maybe. Two months? Yeah. Margaret is actually an exceptionally talented uh, piano player. Yeah. Are you the piano player? Yeah. Is that you? Yeah. Do you play in here? Yeah. As well as using translation apps, Skull Sivin has hired teachers to help the new students learn English. All their general knowledge is really good, it's just that their English is, is a, of a, a low level. But they, they're like sponges, they learn really quickly and they're all really, uh, they're lovely children, they're always smiling. As for the Irish students... I think it's a very nice experience to have Ukraine people in our class and that they can learn from us and we can learn from them. And you're happy to have so many new people in the school? Yeah, it's different yeah. and it's a lot busier. People have new friends now and all. It's very nice, yeah. I like it. It's just so lovely, despite language barrier, to see pupils engaging, learning, happy and laughing and adjusting. A huge success and just totally because of the whole community. Across Ireland, Ukrainian refugees have been placed in hotels and emergency accommodation and granted the right to work. Despite stretched resources, many local communities are happy to have them. I had a lovely thing happen in the shop um, about four or five days ago. A Ukrainian family, they were buying uh, stuff in the shop and they were just about to pay the bill when a local guy just stepped in and he said, no, and he handed me his card and he said, I'm getting that. And I mean, they were in tears. Lilia came here with her two children and has been overwhelmed by the Irish welcome, but of course still yearns for home. You know, every Irish people ask us, us, are you happy? And we are trying to be happy. Because, uh, so we, we have everything that we need now here, but we, we don't have previous life. So it's kind of difficult a little. Back at Skull Sivine. You come in here. Who's this? Uh, this is my daughter, Margarita. Margarita's mom came by to watch her daughter perform for some of her new Irish and Ukrainian friends. <laughs> Donny O'Sullivan, CNN, Car Sivine, Ireland.